Imagine guys, you are facing a face to face interview and you have told to convert the CIDR notation value of slash 26 into a subnet marks. How will you do it within your mind without any pen and paper? So let's check it out in this video how to do it. My name is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. Guys, to convert the CIDR notation into subnet marks, you need to memorize a table which I call as conversion table. But before that, let's first understand what is subnet marks. Subnet marks represents the network portion in the IP address. For example, if you have an IP address 192.168.3.2 having a subnet marks of 255.255.255.0 the first three octet of this IP address will represent the network portion. Now let's talk about CIDR notation. CIDR notation also known as serial notation or slash notation is the easiest way or we can see a shortcut to represent the subnet marks. It actually represents the number of the ones present in the subnet marks. Now let's focus on what exactly the conversion table looks like. So guys, here is the conversion table. In this conversion table guys, you can see there are two columns. One representing number of ones present in the octet and the other subnet marks. You can see here that the number of ones present in the octet is one, then the subnet marks is 128. And man, the number of ones present in the octet are 2, the subnet marks is 192. For 3, it's 224. For 4, it's 240. For 5, it's 248. For 6, it's 252. For 7, it's 254. And for 8, it is 255. Now guys, you may be wondering how did I derive this table? It's very simple. Now, when you have number of ones present in the octet as 1, that means you will represent it as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. If you convert this binary value into decimal value, the output comes to be 128. When you have number of ones present in the octet as 2, you will represent it as 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And if you convert this binary into decimal, the value comes out to be 192. In the same way, you can try and figure it out for the remaining ones. Now let's try the examples. Guys, now let's go back to our interview question where we are told to convert slash 26 CIDR notation value into subnet marks. Now guys, the value, the number 26 can be represented as 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 2. Now, if you refer the conversion table, 8 represents 255 and 2 represents 192. So I can convert the CIDR notation value of slash 26 into subnet marks value of 255 dot 255 dot 252 isn't it simple guys now let's take some another example slash 9 now the number 9 can be represented as 8 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 now again refer the conversion table 8 represents 255 and 1 represents 128 whereas 0 is simply 0 so you can represent slash 9 as 255.128.0.0 as subnet marks. Now let's take some another example. Slash 20. Now guys, 20 can be represented as 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 0. Now referring the conversion table, the subnet marks value will be 255.255.240.0. Guys, if you memorize the 
conversion table and practice it enough you will get a big hold on this guys i hope this video is very informational to you do practice and get it done within your mind without any pen and paper guys thanks for watching my video would request you to please subscribe my channel like and share this video as much as you can thanks once again have a nice day